Hello everyone, this is Mr. Delicious, your traveling tutor and coach. And now we are moving into uh, the grade 12 advanced mathematics students uh, uh, video tutorial. And this is uh, for the students who are streamed in advanced mathematics. Students here in Papua New Guinea. And if you are going to sit for your national examination uh, in October, be ready and watch this uh, video tutorial. I know very much that uh, the students who are streamed in advanced mathematics are already good at maths. But probably this video tutorial uh, will also help the others because I know that you're, you will or you want to ensure that you will uh, uh, score high in your national examination. So bear with me, watch this video tutorial. If you are grade 11 who are streaming uh, advanced mathematics, or any grade, if you are grade 10, grade 9, grade 7, if you want to learn and to enhance more your skills in mathematics, especially in advanced mathematics, watch this video tutorial so you will be prepared for when, it, when it's your turn to uh, do the advanced mathematics national examination. Now, again, we are also using the grade 12 past exam paper year 2010. Okay, now the grade 12 advanced mathematics uh, exam uh, paper, uh, mathematics uh, has two parts, okay, or two papers, uh, paper one and then paper two. Uh, paper one consists of three parts. We have part uh, A, uh, question one to uh, eight, word one mark each, and uh, part B, question nine to 17, uh, word two marks each, and then Part C, question uh, uh, 18 to 25, worth uh, 3 marks. It's all in all in paper 1 is worth 50 marks. And then paper 2 is another uh, 50 marks. A total all in all is 100 marks. Okay, bear with me. Let's now begin with our paper 1, question 1. Okay, this is the question 1, grade 12, advanced mathematics, paper 1, year 2010. This is the question number one. The question, this is a very common question in the national examination, so pay attention here. Okay, this is more on uh, transposition of the formula making the pronumeral the subject. Now this one, in our given, this is the given for the volume of a sphere. This is a formula of the volume of a sphere. Okay, if you are given this uh, formula of the volume of sphere, you're asked to find or to transpose making R to be the subject and this is only worth one mark okay so let's uh, rewrite for question number one this is uh, question question number one uh, paper this is I have to write it here paper uh, one okay for grade 12 so we have volume of a sphere Okay, is equal to 4 over 3, as written originally, pi r cube. Okay, and this can be rewritten as volume of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r cube all over 3. So that's the common denominator here is 3. Okay, so if we are going to make r the subject, this one, then this is understood to have a denominator of 1. So you cross multiply 3 times V is equal to 3V equals 1 times 4 pi R cubes equals 4 pi R cube. Okay? So if we, the operation of 4 pi and R is multiplication. So we can divide both sides of the equation by 4 pi 4 pi, you cancel that 4, you cancel that pi. Now we are left with uh, 3v all over 4 pi equals r to the power of 3 or r cubed. Okay? Now, then here, we are not done yet here because you are going to make only the r, only the r to be the subject. So therefore, you are going to uh, eliminate the exponent of the power 3 there. So over here, 
This means that you are going to multiply both sides of the equations by the power of one-third. One-third, and this one also is one-third. This is why one-third is because to get the reciprocal of three so that we can cancel three. So that's three times one divided by three is cancel. Now you are left now with R, and this is open bracket, 3V all over 4 pi, uh, ra uh, close bracket, raised to the power of one-third, okay? And in our law of indices, it says that the last part of the law of indices says that uh, any base raised to the power of one-third means the square root. So, uh, sorry, the square root, the cube root, this one. Any base to the power of one-third means the cube root. So, this means that the formula now becomes the cube root of 3v over 4 pi equals r. And this is now the formula. Okay? So, this is the formula now making r the subject, the cube root of 3v over 4 pi. And this one also can be correct, at, but then if you are asked to uh, uh, express it in this way, then that means that this is the correct answer. But this one is only worth one mark for the advanced mathematics students. Okay, so this is question number one. The question number one is more on transformation of formula. So get used to this one, advanced mathematics students, and get ready for this. I'll give you five seconds to have a look at question number one before we move to question number two. Okay, time is up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so this is question number one. Let's now move to question number two. So I'll erase this. And what do you think is question number two worth one mark? And which is, uh, what topic is uh, question number two for advanced mathematics students, uh, grade 12 students? So this is question number two. Let's have a look at question number two. This is your question number two, grade 12 advanced mathematics students, paper one, year 2010. This question is simplify, simplify means more on algebra. So when you simplify, you have to, uh, of course, uh, know the basic uh, simplifying expression, algebraic expression. So we have 1 minus 3x plus 1 divided by 1 minus x. Okay, so to simplify this, you are going to this uh, uh, separated the complex expression, make it into when you simplify, you are going to make it into one whole expression or one uh, fractional expression. So the common denominator, the LCD of this is one understood to have one, and this is one minus x. So you have one minus x is the common denominator or the LCD, the least common denominator. So the least common, uh, uh, highest uh, uh, common factor. So 1 and 1 minus 6, 1 minus x. 1 minus x <coughs> divided by 1 is equal to 1 minus x. 1 minus x times 1 is equal to 1 minus x. Then copy the minus sign. Copy the minus sign. 1 minus x divided by 1 minus x is equal to uh, 1. 1 minus x divided by 1 minus x is equal to 1. 1 times 3x plus 1 is, this time I am using bracket. Oh, be careful on this one, grade 12 uh, student, advanced mathematics students. Uh, we use the 3x plus 1 because of our uh, minus sign here. This minus sign means that this belongs to 3x at the same time, 1, positive 1. So now let's have 1 minus x. So you distribute this one. 
to inside the brackets so that we, do, we remove the brackets and then later we collect like terms. Okay? This negative with hand outside is understood to have a coefficient of 1. Okay? So this is 1. Negative 1 times positive 3x is equal to negative 3x. Negative 1, okay, so that's the 1, huh? Negative 1 times positive 3x equals negative 3x. Negative 1 times positive 1 is equal to negative 1, okay? All over 1 minus x. So... The simplified expression now, worth one mark for the advanced mathematics students is, now you collect like terms here. We collect like terms. This will be 1 minus 1, okay, is equal to cancel. Positive 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative x minus 3x is equal to negative, negative 4x all over 1 minus x. Okay? So the final answer now, therefore, is that negative 4x over 1 minus x is the simplified form or expression for this uh, given, and that is for our answer for question number two. Okay, I hope that's clear now. This is for video number one, advanced mathematics uh, uh, students, uh, those who are streaming in advanced mathematics, question one and two, paper one. So this is Mr. Delicious. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe my YouTube channel because when you subscribe, my YouTube channel, you will always be notified every time I upload a video tutorial, a mathematics video tutorial, regardless of what grade it is. It, either it is grade 8, grade 10, or grade 12. Okay? So, bear with me and uh, journey with me in this uh, video tutorial in preparation for your national examination in October. Bye for now. Tata. -ta.